This is a clip from the Chris Break Show podcast. All right. I hung up on him because I don't think he would have. Uh, <laughs> you're listening to the Chris Break Show. That the guy with no arms? No armed police officer. That's crazy, oh, dude. Oh, was that? Yeah, the police officer hops out of his, of his squad no. car. He's got no arms. That's what I, that's what I heard. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that's what you heard? I yeah. heard that the guy that ran into uh, him. And that would make more sense, but... <laughs> I don't remember that time. Remember that time we went? You do? <laughs> we went. We went to that. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you share the from your angle what happened there? And then I'll cut in the church. Yeah, the church. Uh, we uh, someone that we worked with invited us to go to their church. Like, hey, come check out our church. You know, on Wednesday night or whatever. So we did, and it's this huge building that looks like you know cameras everywhere. It looks like Secret Service. Secret Service status, like doors locking. Looks like passcodes to get in and whatnot. And we go in there. We don't know where we are. We're clearly lost and clearly never been there before. No, and all the doors were locked. The doors were actually locked. Yeah, and okay. some guy had to like some guy with the little Secret Service earpiece. <laughs> yeah. A suit, like for the church, had to come let us in. Yeah, he had the security earpiece in. Like, yeah, he definitely looked like CIA status. Uh, minus one thing, when uh, when he stuck out his hand to to, to say hello, uh, he didn't have it. He didn't have a hand. He didn't have, really yeah. have much of an arm. It was just a uh, kind of a stump. Yeah, this guy agreed to me, and you know, he went to shake my hand. He stuck out his stump. He, yeah, he sticks out the stump, not the other hand, but the stump. I didn't know who was being rude at that point. <laughs> he you had know? one regular arm. But then on the other arm, it was a stump, and he chooses to shake your hand with it wasn't the stump. Even, it wasn't even a, what well, was it, a stump? It was like a, no, it was. It was a like, mangled claw or something. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a, a really rude way to put it. But, it's what it looks like. Hey, we never said that we were anything polite over here. <laughs> we treat people to respect. Yeah, he, was, he was a nice guy, and did. he did have a mangled claw <laughs> for a hand. You treated when, him with respect. You're like, uh, how, how, do we, how do we do this here? What, what are we doing here? He, and the guy goes. <laughs> Just kind of grab onto it and shake. <laughs> <laughs> and grab onto it and shake, I did. <laughs> it was a good call asking how to handle that impolite situation. I, I find it weird that he put the put the stump out to shake, you know? I find that rude. It's kind of rude. It's, it's, it's definitely you, weird. You said you were uh, you didn't see what was going on. You just heard me go, hey, what are we doing yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes to shake my hand. I was like, yeah. oh, ah. You thought I was doing, he was doing some sort of like crazy handshake? Yeah, like secret handshake or something. It was a pretty crazy handshake. It was the craziest handshake I've ever experienced. He could have been a Freemason for all I know. Well, I don't know. What the, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that. Freemasons have secret handshakes that they do. Does it involve a mingled claw? <laughs> I don't know. I've no, I've never gotten to the upper echelon oh, of Freemasonry. I wonder if he can even. I wonder if he can even do the Freemason handshake. He probably the, can't. He'd have to use his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> but they. But then they say that it's rude if you extend your left hand. What to a shake hands? Oh, like, left hand is just straight up. In it's rude even if you're left-handed. Yeah. Well, that's kind of weird. Like, if you're left-handed, they say it's rude to extend Who's your left hand. Who's making up these rules, man? What about the lefties out there? I, well, Are I they will, just rude? I will tell you, uh, <laughs> Harry Masingale, I'll Is say his lefty? name, White Hair Productions, maybe tomorrow, filmmakers, and maybe tomorrow, and a few other features you can buy, local Indianapolis. But that guy, he's left-handed, and that son of a bitch would always stick out his left hand. That used to piss me off. Uh, and he'd, he'd think that it was like, you know, like, oh, I like to, I'm left-handed, so I like to make people adapt to me. I'm like, well... That's I don't subscribe to the adapting to you policy, so you're gonna have to fucking figure something out there. But before you know it, you're putting your left hand out because he's put his left hand out first. Is it an the, awkward shake my hand? Is it? Is it I noticed. Do, I always do right hand out. The right hand is definitely more normal. I left hand is kind of like it's, you might miss their hand. You know, like that's what I do all the time when I shake somebody's <laughs> hand. I always end up like, like they. I don't know if I what my deal is, but it has to be me because it happens to me all the time. Every time I put out my freaking hand, they always like they, the, shake just the tips yeah, of my just fingers. The tips of it. I've, yeah, and it's yeah. like, am I slow moving or so? like why are you shaking? <laughs> like I don't feel comfortable you squeezing the tips of my let, fingers. Let me see the, the tips. Of the oh, fingers. yeah. Okay, did, there you go. You didn't you like that. that. No, I, I, no, I know I don't like it. That's what I'm saying. Like people, people do that to me all the time, and I think it has to be me. Like what am I? Am I doing like a, a you know some sort of like feminine handshakers? Like why? You might be coming in from the top or something. I, maybe I am. <laughs> I don't appreciate you it though. It really a, pisses me off. A swoop come up from the underside. I, but then they they also say that uh, you know you can tell the strength of a man based on his handshake and. Hey. 
I don't, if someone's doing that shit to me, it's like, does that, what does that say about me? If I'm getting the tips of my fingers squeezed, like, you, know, you don't squeeze the tip of me, buddy. Like, I don't, I don't appreciate that. It's, don't squeeze the tip. That's just, that's just it, not. it makes me feel uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> and then I feel like I have to prove, like, I, I just meet the guy and I already feel like I have to prove myself to him because he's squeezed. Like, I feel like he's the boss now because he's squeezing my tips. It's like, I no, like, and I, and I commonly say, no, I start laughing. I'm like, no, let's get a real handshake here. Uh, right. And I flip it on them. I make it their fault, you know? What What do they do? Uh, they shake my hand a second time. Yeah, like properly? Yeah. And I squeeze it real <laughs> hard. No, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> I thought of a story uh, that happened to me uh, uh, when Joel was telling his story. Do you want me to tell it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't know. I might regret saying that. Uh, it's, re- it's, a, it's a quick story. It's uh... 30 seconds or less. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. From the Chris Break Show Podcast. 